of my favorite people, today we're going to be checking out the Irish National Anthem performed live at a rugby game. On the other channel, you guys saw my reaction to all of the British and Irish National Anthems that you guys have, and I was like scoring them, rating them, deciding which ones I liked, and you said that getting the feel of them performed live is so much different than just listening to a lyric video of the songs. So I want to see if what you said is true. Like I said, today we're going to be doing the Irish National Anthem performed live at a rugby game. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. This is just an extension of the Culture Series. Now it has its own channel where I can upload as much culture stuff as I want to without worrying that I'm upsetting my subscribers. <laughs> Make sure you give the video a like as well so I know you guys want me to do more content like this in the future and check out my other channels and damn me requests over on Instagram. Okay, here we go into the Irish National Anthem live at a rugby game. A rugby match. I like the formations. Like the teams are supporting each other kind of in a way. <laughs> They're not speaking English. I like this one because it like, it hypes you up. Like for battle or something. Ooh, his teeth are black. It's the drums. Okay, shout out to Ireland. Look at the fans. Oh, the little flags. Who do we re Oh, he's getting emotional. Oh no. Why is everyone getting sad? A freaking drumline. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. They got two? The Irish one is long. Ugh. So the first half is like hype and then the second part is emotional for them. It's sad seeing grown men get emotional, like... A little pickly. Homie's tall. The fact they can all hit the notes. Oh, he can't even sing. He's so like emotional about it. Oh man. The haka. Oh. Okay. So the first part of the Irish national anthem was kind of like I said this whenever we reacted to the actual song. It's like getting you prepared for battle or something. Like it makes you very. What's the word? I hate just using the word hype over and over, but it does make you hype. The drum line, the little do 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 do, it makes you feel like you're marching into battle and like you can conquer whoever. And you know, reading the lyrics, it was like, we're gonna destroy our enemies, our fathers uh, tilled and fought for this country and this land, so we're going to too as their sons, blah blah blah. It like carries over a kind of unity and like, just power to the song. And then at the end, the second part, like all the players were getting emotional. I didn't really know what was happening because there was like a weird transition in the song, but eventually you just saw everybody singing along again with the da 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 and like the guys were getting teary eyed. It was really interesting. I liked that. The Irish National Anthem. It's a bop. I liked it. Anyways, if you're new here, subscribe, like the video. Let me know what other cultures I should check out or what other national anthems I should check out at what games? Soccer? Rugby? Cricket? Y'all were asking for some cricket reactions. Let me know. I'm down for whatever. Subscribe. Bye.